Research into the effects of gaming in the classroom shows that when digital games were compared to other instructional methods, there was a moderate to strong positive effect in learning. In a study by the Gates Foundation, learning achievement has been assessed as improving by at least 12% if the student had access to a game in the classroom. An SRI study has shown an improvement of up to 25% in learning achievement when using games or simulations. As long as games are used to supplement instruction, they can be a valuable teaching tool. The most important thing a teacher should remember is to make sure that the games align with the curriculum goals and objectives. Web-based games are available in all subject areas from elementary through high school. Three types of these games are parlor games, role-playing games, and mind games. Parlor games are suitable for younger students and include word games. Our first example of a parlor game type of instructional game is Word Girl Power Words. Lady Redundant Woman is making an army of evil copies of herself. What word will stop these dubious duplicates? These cunning clones, these boisterous bad guys in their tracks. Eradicate. Wow, Word Girl, you really eradicated those copies. Way to get rid of them so quickly. Which word improves context clues and spelling? The food chain game is a science game that teaches students about the food chain in animals. The food chain game. Instructions. Drag the parts of the food chain to their correct place. If you drag something incorrectly, it won't stay there. Visit the food chain pages to get ready or if you need help. When the chain is complete, it will come to life and you can watch the food chain in action. Number one, simple chain. Flower. Caterpillar Bird Next are role-playing games where players become a character in the game. Trapped is a BBC literacy game in which players become a character in the story. Skills practiced in this game include spelling, word choice, deduction, and story planning. Are you sitting comfortably? Well, not for much longer. Once upon a time, there was a tower with lots of trapped little unfortunates, but nobody knows what happens next because I've planned my story. <laughs> Game one, Wall of Sorrow. To succeed in this challenge, you must rebuild the Wall of Sorrow. Make sure the bricks are in the right order you'd use for planning a story, or it will all come crashing down. What a wonderful wall of sorrow! Betwixt Folly and Fate is a U.S. history role-playing game set in Colonial Williamsburg. Mission U.S. is another U.S. history role-playing game set in the 1770s. The year is 1848. <laughs> you are Lucy King, a 14-year-old enslaved on a Kentucky plantation. You want to escape 
But how will you do it? We all help in different ways. And who can you trust? I'll have my eye on you. Can you find a path to freedom? Come in, quickly, where you're followed. Play Mission U.S. online, an interactive way to learn history. Monkey Labs is a game in which students play as a character in the game to solve math problems. The next type of games are mind games. Quandary is a game in which players have to solve societal problems on another planet in the future. 32 light years from Earth. The future of planet Broxos is in your hands. When the human colonists face dilemmas they can't resolve, they turn to you, their captain. Your challenge? To investigate. Separate fact from opinion. I think these predators are dangerous to more than sheep. Uncover different viewpoints and decide what's best for Broxos. But what's best for Broxos might not please everyone. I haven't got time for this. I'm busy building houses for the coming winter. See how your choices shape the success of a mission and the future of a society. Quandary, how will you decide? Play now at quandarygame.org. Argument Wars is a U.S. history game in which students study Supreme Court cases. Rapid Math is a math problem-solving game to improve math skills. <laughs> 